In this video, we are starting with grade 12 probability by having a look at the counting principle. To calculate the probability that an event will occur under certain conditions, we need to know what the number of outcomes are under these specific conditions, as well as the total number of outcomes. To determine this number of outcomes can sometimes be challenging, and that is why we are going to have a look at the counting principle. I'm going to explain the counting principle by using an example. Johan buys a sandwich and a cold drink every day. He has three options to choose from for the sandwich and four options for the cold drink. How many different combinations can he make? To get all the different combinations, you can either pair up a specific sandwich and cold drink one by one, or you can go and draw a tree diagram. In the tree diagram, we then have sandwich option one, option two, and option three, combined with the four options of cold drinks. And from here, we can see that there are 12 different options or combinations that he can make for his sandwich and cold drink. When using the counting principle, it is not necessary to write out each possible combination. All we need to do is see this as two different tasks and then simply multiply the number of options per task with each other. So here we can multiply the three options for sandwiches with the four options for cold drinks to immediately get to our 12 combinations. Let's use this counting principle in an example. Daniel is planning his 18th birthday party and has decided on the following menu. How many different combinations can be chosen? When using the counting principle here, we are going to have three different tasks of which we have to multiply the possible outcomes. Our first task will be the starters where we have three different options to choose from. Next, we have our main meals, of which there are four options. And the last task will be our desserts, where there are three options. Multiplying these three values, you will see that there are 36 different combinations. Carla immediately decided on milk tart for dessert. How many different combinations can she choose from that contain milk tart? Because Carla already decided that her dessert will be milk tart, she only has one option for desserts. When using the counting principle, we are still going to have our three tasks and multiply their options. Our starters still have three options. We have four main options to choose from and her one dessert. And this will give her 12 different combinations to choose from. Next. Let's have a look at the difference between questions where repetition of the options is allowed versus not allowed. Example 2. How many four-digit codes are possible if digits A may be repeated or B may not be used more than once? Here we are going to choose between all the one-digit numbers, which means we will have the options from 0 up to 9, and that will give us 10 different options to choose from. In A, the digits may be repeated. We need to form a four-digit code, which means we have four tasks of which the possible outcomes should be multiplied. And for each of these tasks, we have the 10 options from 0 to 9. The reason for this is that the digits may be repeated. For example, you can have an option of 8 8, 8, 8 as your code, where 8 is repeated. This means that we have 10,000 different combinations. In B, the digits may not be repeated. So even though we still have the four tasks that we need to decide the number of options for, only the first task has all 10 options to choose from. For the second task, we've now already used up one option in task 1 and there's only 9 left to choose from. At task 3, two options have already been used and there are 8 options left to choose from. And then of course for task 4, 7 options. So here we only have 5040 different possibilities. 
when options may be repeated, you have a second option of writing this in exponential form. So this will be 10 to the power 4, where the base number is always the number of options and the exponent is the number of tasks. When the options may not be repeated, the number of options will decrease by 1 per task. Example 3. How many ways can the letters of the word admin be arranged if letters may not be repeated? Because the letters may not be repeated, this is literally a rearrangement of the five letters forming the word admin. So here we have five tasks or five spots that we need to fill with the number of options. And for the first task, we have all five of the letters to choose from. Once we've used the first letter, there's only four options left for task two, then three options left for task three, only two options for task four, and then there'll be one remaining for task five. Therefore, there are 120 different ways in which the letters of the word admin can be arranged. When a product is determined of values decreasing by 1 right up to the value of 1, it is called a factorial. And the symbol used for factorial is an exclamation mark. You will also find this symbol on your calculator and therefore you could determine the answer for example 3 by pressing 5 factorial on your calculator.